A local fashion designer has come back home to Illinois from New York City. Ryan here got to go see her studio and learn about her journey as well as check out some of her amazing products. That's right. I got to visit with Emily Harris, the designer and entrepreneur behind the Mrs. Emily brand. She is a fashion designer who has become a thought leader, but she's also a mom who has had to wrestle with the work-life balance of family while starting and building a business. We spent some time together in her home studio here in Champaign. I think if you go to the mall today, the majority of clothes are not made out of real fabric and they're not washable. They will fall apart. Um, they're designed to fall apart within six weeks because that's the fast fashion cycle. So I want to provide an alternative where people are able to spend one time and wear that piece for years and, um, and they know where that piece was made and that it was made in a way with integrity, that it was not taking advantage of the people who are sewing it, um, that it was not made with just weird ingredients like chemicals in the fabric and things like that. Welcome to my studio. This is the upstairs bedroom of our house. This is incredible. It's small but mighty. It looks bigger than it actually is. I know, on your socials, I was like, this must be a huge room, but really, it's like, this is like the master, or the king size bed. Yes, exactly. And instead of a bed, you have this gigantic Yes, this is a six by eight feet, so there's just kind of like a path around it, and then. Fashion for me used to be fun and frivolous and art form. You know, you wear your high heels, you mix and match whatever. You don't have to be able to breathe as long as you can just tuck it in, it looks good. And that came just from years of kind of shopping Goodwill and thrift stores and putting together my own looks. But once I had my daughter and I lived in New York at the time, all of a sudden functional fashion was, was a necessity. You know, I could enjoy the city to the extent that I could carry my daughter and walk. What has been the hardest thing about starting this business, about starting Mrs. Emily? I think I didn't realize how long it would take for me to find my voice and find my why. I went to school, studied fashion at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, and then I moved to New York and worked for a bridal designer named Ansala. And during my time in New York, I really found that the industry was not gonna jive with my plans of being kind of, not necessarily a stay-at-home mom, but I did want a good work-life balance. I started my company at the same time as I was working part-time for this designer with the intention of growing slowly alongside motherhood. I could spend time with my kids and when they got more independent, I would have the business at a place where it would need more of my attention. What brought you back here? Uh, well, we lived in New York for seven years, got totally burnt out, and we actually bought one-way tickets to my parents' home in Champaign, Illinois. So when I moved home to Illinois, I really had kind of an identity crisis because whatever hadn't happened for my business, that was okay as long as I lived in New York because you live in New York and that becomes part of your identity. When I moved back to Illinois, all of a sudden I couldn't say, oh, but I live in New York. So it was like, um, I really had to think who am I outside of New York and who am I as a designer and what do I actually believe in? And so I started just writing on social media actually at the same time as I was seeing a counselor in town. And I just started processing my story and disappointment, different things that I thought that were, were gonna happen in my career that hadn't. And that turned into t-shirts. So the first one said things like, I did not expect it to be this hard or um, the not quitting is the winning. And from there it developed into uh, my current line of t-shirts. So I grabbed all of the, I did a lot of like wild animal Im imagery last year because um, it started with the Hebrew word for meditate, which is literally translated as growl, as in like a wild animal growling over um, their prey. And I just thought about how we, our confidence is usually dictated by whatever's happening to us. So if somebody says something mean, then we're like, oh, or if somebody comments on our outfit or something like that. And, it, and I wanted to myself and encourage my clients to be more aggressive when we defend our confidence that really if somebody comments something or if some life circumstance comments about 
you know, it changes how we feel about ourselves that we at least question it, you know, and push back a yeah. little bit. So all of these wild animals have, have different imagery. This is a um, self-portrait. So <laughs> this is where Fashion Tiger came from. She's got my uh, tape around her neck and she's got my pincushion. Coming up later, Emily talks a bit about the role of clothing when it comes to personal confidence, and we will dig deeper into the Mrs. Emily product line and show you a specific product that has become the foundation for so many of her designs. Find out what makes it so special. Definitely something to look forward to.